tattoos are 30 days, you get that shit back. Face tat. Boom. <laughs> um, gang, and then you gotta go take a new ID picture. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go take a new prison, uh, California or prison ID picture. I got mine on me right now. Shit. Oh, you got the prison ID picture. Keep it on. Yeah, him. yeah, right here. Look, check it out. Real certified stepper on the game. Really in the steel. Oh, you keep it. Yeah, that's my ID. You show sure? that's what you show him at the airport. This is what you show him at the airport. They work at the airport. They work at the airport. Yo, we on boss talk. Welcome to the Yeah, we gonna talk. Okay, you was gone for how long? I was gone for nine years. What's changed? What's the biggest change when you came home that you seen? All the girls had different babies. More babies. <laughs> Y'all got more babies. Y'all got more babies. Um, he ain't lying. Yeah, my mentality just still like when I was I grew up in there. I learned how to shave in there. I I learned everything in there when, when prison. Uh, but uh, just I came home and just. Just the way I act and the way I see people, body language and just, you know, just firm contact and just the way you talk to people and just the way I see and I know how to have conversations with older people, younger people and have more uh, respect and gratitude towards life. And uh, But now since I'm getting famous and I'm, I'm getting all this money and, and I'm getting the finer things in life, it's like sometimes I feel like in the beginning, I felt like I didn't deserve it. Like I was like I was out of place, you know, but now I'm starting to feel like, yeah, I deserve this shit. And the other day I went to back to the hood for the first time in like three weeks. My mom was like, hey, come sleep over here. I took her out to go eat And I said man I don't never want to come back To the fucking hood Ever again On the set Just on the visit Yeah I'm cool dog hey, Just like he, the way I'm he living getting it So yeah, yeah, it's, So it's, it's all it. It, Some of the Some of the people That's in that hood Or whatever Gonna try to hold you back nah, You know yeah, that Yeah yeah it, it is what it is But as long as I'm staying righteous And solid And I keep it real And, and, and I'm doing me And everybody's getting theirs Everybody's happy And, and people want to see me win But ain't nobody gonna stop me I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. As long as I'm going about it the right way, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Like, I read the comments. I, I read all that shit. Like, you know, a lot of people love me. A lot of people love me. 20 hate, percent hate, but everybody tries to find something. They don't got shit on me. Now, I'm real solid. I'm real, real, real sereno. Real, real, really out here in the field. Really been to level fours. Really been to the shoe. Re really from the hood. Re really down for the hood. If the homies want to call me to the hood of DP, I'm going to go. I'm going to pull it to the hood and go get my shit and then... You know, get it in, cracking, and it's just like that. That hood shit runs deep. I, I'll never leave. I, I, I'm moving the fuck out the hood, but the hood shit runs deep. They'll always, the hood runs deep, dog. And that hood shit runs deep, though. Like, they could always, it, it's always going to be around forever. I'm from the hood for life. I love my hood and where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? That's my vodka's all over my face, but I don't want to go back to the hood. Fuck that. Like, I like nice shit now. Wow. What did you think when you came out and seen all these, the podcasts, the bloggers, all this stuff going on when it comes <laughs> to the media? I see, uh, I see uh, everybody's making their money out of it and everybody's eating on it. So like everybody has the, the promotions getting their money, the media's getting their money, the camera guys getting their money, the video hunters are getting their money, the rappers getting his money, the manager, the money's in the music and rap and media. Once you get lost into like the LA rap scene, like with the blacks and like the Mexicans, like it's a trip and people get lost into it and it's just like, that's what we do out here. You wow, know I gotta go back into the prison, like nine years in prison. What was the biggest ride that you was in? What was the craziest oh, thing? Come on now, yeah, you know yeah, we're crazy. Yeah, yeah, I don't wanna speak too much on that, but yeah, I, I participated in a, in a couple of them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I did an indicted interview and I, I spoke on a, my prison uh, experiences in yeah. there. But yeah, I've been, I participated in a couple of them. <sighs> You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say. That's all you gotta say about yeah, that. Yeah, hell yeah. It's just, it's just something. No, 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 that's cool. You, you could, you could ask, you could ask me. But LA, man, shit different out here. Like the homies, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've been, I've, I've been in them, dog. <laughs> On the hood, I've been in them. I earn all my tattoos. All my tattoos, I earn them. When they lock it, lock you down. I don't know how it is out here, but when they lock you down and they feed you, like where I'm from, they fed you Johnny Sacks. You get like a peanut butter sandwich, and I've been there. What's the snacks? Like that's no, no, that's what they give you. Like when they lock the whole unit down. Peanut butter sandwich. Yeah, that's you get it? just get a peanut butter sandwich and maybe a drink. That's it. Did, did they ever lock y'all down? When Hell was yeah. A, what did they feed you? They only lock you down for two weeks now. Okay. Because so, I ain't been now. I'm talking mm -hmm. the early 90s. So. Yeah, early 90s. That's when they used to lock shit down for yeah. a long time. But now they, the, the longest they can put you on lockdown is for two weeks. So that's two better. weeks, and everybody loves it because you're just in the cell chilling. Nobody want to go to the yard. But they feed you the same yeah. food? Uh, yeah, they feed you the same food. They bring you the same food to the cell. Wow. See, that's no, different. Not, yeah, they bring you the same food to the cell. They Bo treat us bad. Bullshit has dog food. <laughs> On the gang, dog food. <laughs> no, no. Dog food that's dog the food. The only thing, and I still eat it to this day, don't think they did different for us. They gave you like uh, peanut butter and uh, pancakes. 
Ooh, that's all we, that's all we, that's all we ate. Pancakes and peanut butter and pancakes. Peanut, peanut butter and pancakes. That was the best breakfast. It. Still to this day. They give you waffles in Pelican Bay with a little sausage right there. Waffles. <laughs> wow. So that's the best. You remember the best meals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, wa- yeah. waffles, <laughs> uh, uh, chicken day. You better hope you get a big day? piece of chicken because sometimes you get a little smoked out chicken. You are mad. <laughs> yeah, they give you, sometimes you get a good ass healthy piece of chicken. What, what's what's up with the, like in, in, I know in Texas they give you like time. Like you can't eat. You can eat, but you get five minutes to eat. Like they knock on that table. Five you minutes know, to eat? Five minutes. Yeah, Every yeah. nigga you meet, when you meet him, when he come home, you're going to know because he, he eating fast. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so in, in Pelican Bay, you eating yourself. They bring, oh, so they don't let y'all go room, nowhere. Yeah, you get room service right there. That's crazy. Yeah, they bring they, yeah Pelican Bay. They bring you the food, food to your cell. Boom, and they lock you. They it's chow time, and the cop will come around, and he'll just open your cell and push the food in. And then in uh, uh, Ironwood, you go eat on a three yard. You go eat on the table, and uh, it, the respectful thing to do is. Say I'm eating on the table. I don't know if I'm gonna get some blacks. I sit with the blacks. All right now, blacks. You know, cool. And we eat, and I'm not gonna leave if the blacks still eating. And the homie, we're gonna wait for the black to finish. You know, it's respectful, like man, gentlemen. And then once he's done, you guys ready? And then we, we all leave. Wow. You know what I'm Are they hard on y'all? Like I see the tattoos. I know in in prison you get tattoos. In 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 the Texas prison, you will get like a case if they catch you what? hitting each other up or you know, like, yeah, yeah, you catch a case. Like they, and the more cases you catch, the more you know it stipulates you you could be doing more time for a it. case. Yes, it's like no a write case. up. Not a, no write up. Well, that's what we call them. You know, you get a few write ups. Sixty days, you get thirty days. Nah. It's different tattoos systems. 30 you know days. what I'm saying? Tattoos are thirty days. You get that shit back. Face tat. Boom. On the gang, and then you gotta go take a new ID picture. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go take a new prison, uh, California or prison ID picture. I got mine on me right now. Shit. Oh, you got the prison ID picture. Keep it on him. Yeah, yeah, right here. Look, check it out. Real certified stepper on the gang. Really in the steel. Oh, you keep it. Yeah, that's my ID. You show. That's what. You, that's, that's what you show. You took it to the, it to the yeah, airport. This is what you show him at the airport. At the airport. They work at the airport. The they work at the airport. This I'm man got his. <laughs> That's crazy. They yeah, they accept it. And they accept it just right. like a regular ID. When they see me walk really? through with, when they see me walk through with all these chains, they'd be like, all right. Yeah, we're make clear Damn. That's crazy. And 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 through clear? No, they didn't let us Okay, okay. But they let us do TSA. Yeah, this is my recent this is my recent one for a strap. Look at, look at the date on this one. That's when I hear reception. Reception Five eighteen twenty twenty one. That's my recent one for a strap. Five eighteen twenty one. That's crazy, man. Really yeah. shit. So, okay. So, when you, you, how old was you when you first went? 18. You was 18. Juvenile Hall, too. Juvenile Hall. Juvenile Hall. Yeah, YA compound, 7, 15, 17. Did you see any homies when you first get there? My homeboys? Yeah, anybody yeah. that you I went knew, in right? There, I went in there with my homeboy. Oh, they went with you? Yeah, my homeboys went in there with me, yeah. <laughs> now, I went in there with my homeboy in Juvenile Hall, and when I was 18, I got caught, did a burglary. Then I went back again, went back again. And then been back for violations all year this year, back in the county violations. Because what year. I'm tripping on, like when you go once, here, once you once you once you get in the system, man, it's just it's crazy. It's a, it's hard to break that barrier, man. It's just to stay out that that get out that mentality, not hold the gun. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.